In this video, we'll show you the introduction to the Partmaster milling software. So I've uh, double clicked the uh, DCAM icon from the desktop and I'm presented with the start screen. So from here, we'll start a new milling program. The first box that is presented to us is a machine setup. This is where we select the machine type. We select the units that we want to work in. We can set a program ID. So this could be the program identification or a part number, something like that. The uh, NC program number can be the top of the G-code file program. The tool change position this is where we set up the where the machine will start from, its safety in its home position, and where it will go to to change the tools and other Z values. So this is the machine setup dialog. So the way that the uh, screen is laid out is we have the main graphics area in the center, and when we import some geometry, we'll see it here. On the right hand side is a status panel so as we start producing tool paths then we'll see the uh, status of the tool and its current XY position being shown to us there. The main menu at the top gives us access to all the functions within the CAM system but uh, an easier way of accessing those functions is via the toolbars. The top toolbar here is controlling the main drawing uh, uh, machining operations such as saving, opening uh, and all the screen handling. Things like setting up our views, plan views, different windows and so on. So this sets up the views and then over here we have the animation, how we draw the tools, we animate it, draw the tool envelope or tool centerline. These options here are currently greyed out because we have no uh, operations to run. Down the left hand side we see three windows. The first one will show us any contours and patterns that are part of the geometry. Tooling definitions are shown here and program operations are shown here. Along the bottom of the screen is the main machining options toolbar. So if we wanted to go back into the setup dialog for instance we click this icon here and we can go back and amend our tool change position for instance. So along the bottom of the screen we have the main options of how we uh, create programs. If we want to define a tool we click this button here and then we choose the tool that we want to define. That tool then gets shown in the tooling definitions window. If we want to select that tool for use we use M6 and this allows us to set the spindle speed and the feed rate for that tool. Along the top here we have a view option and the, underneath there we have view preferences. So this is where we set up the preferences for our machining operations. One of the things that we might like to set up are the different folders of where the programs are stored. Normally when you create a program within Partmaster it can contain a drawing file, a machining program and an output file. The output file is typically a G-code file. So for instance here the output files they can be stored in the same folder as the machining program and the drawing file. But if you want your output files to be stored in a particular folder then this is where you would set up that information. Under the options, we have various tick boxes and operations here. For instance, if we automatically want to reload the last tool file that we used, then this is where we can choose that option here. So these are the user preferences to do with how the system is set up. Many people, for instance, like to use a black background rather than a white. So you would do that here by setting up the black background. If you do that, please remember that the contours cannot be shown in black as well. Otherwise, you won't see them. So if you change the background, make sure you change some of these other colors to suit. So that gives you a brief overview as to the Partmaster milling software.